American culture and history has the concept of civil wars, and civil wars erode when a major political concept and issue becomes at the forefront of our life. And in terms of the civil war we've had, it was always about, obviously, slavery and the abolishment of that. But even today, we are fighting people who are trying to enslave us with their technology. We have companies who sell cell phones that want to and not only enslave us to our cell phone, but we also have telecommunications companies that want to enslave us to their networks. And sometimes we have to change network to get a better service for our company or our family. But other times we have to use networks for us in order to produce a life out of poverty. In life we have moments of time to speak the truth about our skill sets. And if I'm a marvelous poet and don't know it, how wonderful. If I am not a great poet in your mind, then don't listen to me. But what I can tell you over the course of time is that America is also a marvelous place of abuse because people have not understood what freedom means today. What freedom to me means today is that I'll be able to walk through a city without someone already knowing about my life, about my situation, and about my poverty. And while my clothes may not be the most fashionable at this time, they're the most comfortable for me, and they're what God led me to wear for my life at this time. And when I move back into political consulting, when I move back into an office, when I move back into a place that's actually my full shelter, then I might have different clothing. But at the present time, I'm a traveling guy. At the present time, I've have got a health issue. At the present time, I have that health issue because people who are not actually doctors or specialists or anything to me in my life abused me and abused my situation and pr pr practiced a, an abuse of power that was unreasonable to me and my life. It completely, utterly has demoralized and dehumanized and destroyed my life. Also, people in the impoverished community took advantage of me, my sleeping time took out papers, made photocopies, took out thumb drives, abused them, and stole things from me every time. And those people are to blame for the problems that i experienced since I've been here. I absolutely know that even retail employees that were supposedly generous and kind to me by giving me blankets or giving me sleeping bags might have come back while I was sleeping because someone told them where I was and stole the stuff back. How immoral that Ashley woman is for that company is beyond my imagination, but I absolutely know from God that it's factual. And what I know about employees of impoverishment thinking is they think, well, I got of that and I've done that, but now I want to take advantage of what you're saying to me about your programs and about your life. And instead of feeding you, I'm going to feed my family. And I appreciate that self-preservation, but I also know it's a dereliction of duty in your company. It's a violation of the law to pretend to be me, and to commit identity theft, and openly we have to stop what's going on in America today with regard to hate and with regard to the potential of another civil war today. Racism is not so far off. We have reverse racism going on every day. We have ethnocentricity abusing people every day. And I might become a white supremacist only because of my experience of your community. But if you don't want me to become one, if you want me to become more loving and kind to diversity, if you want me to really celebrate your background and history and heritage more than I already have because I am a student of American systems, I have to tell you that you need to stop your immoral and illegal behavior on my life. 